Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I've been an English teacher since 1996. I've noticed you're interested in the English language. Your English has improved so far. Have you ever visited Canada? My students have always hated the present perfect tense. In this lesson, we're going to look at the present perfect tense. Present perfect simple. So stay tuned. Finally, the present perfect simple. Some students confuse it with the past or with the present. The present perfect simple can be both a past and a present. And I always say that the present perfect simple is, it belongs to us. It's a tense that is alive, very much alive. And we use the auxiliary to have or has in the third person singular. So I drew a timeline just to show you graphically how we use the present perfect simple. Present perfect simple, an action that started sometime in the past is not important when, and it continues up to now. So the when is not important. The action, however, it is. And here I wrote an action that started sometime in the past and may continue until the very moment of speaking. I'm going to show you this with different rules and different keywords to help you understand when to use the present perfect simple. So let's go to uh, the formulas now, the three types of sentences. For a positive sentence, we need the subject plus the auxiliary, so have or has, plus the past participle, it could be regular or irregular. If you want to watch a lesson on regular or irregular uh, verbs, you may click here. And then we need the object. So an example, he has visited Canada. So he has visited Canada, right there. Okay, the uh, negative sentence is with the subject. Then we need the auxiliary plus not. So have or has plus not, then the past participle, and then the object. They haven't studied for the exam. They haven't studied for the exam. So the action is important, not when. For a question then, WH question word plus auxiliary <coughs> plus a subject plus the past participle, plus the time expression, for example. Have you ever been to a zoo in your town? Have you ever been to a zoo in your town? We have um, adverbs and time expressions that we basically know we need to use them with a present perfect simple. These are since and for, that we can also use it with a past simple but also with the present perfect simple. Just, already, and yet, uh, we all use them with the present perfect simple. Still, <coughs> ever, never, always, only, this, this month, this year, this week, etc. So far, etc. Now, the most important thing, when to use this tense? Well, the first, the first and the most important is to describe life experiences. I've been an English teacher since 1996. So, I've been an English teacher since 1996. Am I an English teacher now? Yes, I am. So this is something that belongs to my life. I've been an English teacher and here I gave you an indication of the time. I'm telling you that I'm an English teacher. I've been an English teacher since 1996. Now let's look at another example. He's worked at that office for 10 years. 
He's worked at that office for 10 years. Is he working at that office? Probably yes, or probably not. We know that he has worked at that office for 10 years. So here, we're not interested exactly when he started working there, but he has worked at that office. That's all. So life experiences. The second point that um, we use the present perfect simple with no specific time when you don't indicate the time. So for example, I've noticed you're interested in the English language. I've noticed, this is what is important. I've noticed you, you're interested in the English language. So right there, I've noticed is the most important part of the sentence. Now, another example. They've seen you at the library. <coughs> They've seen you at the library. Here, it's important that they've seen you at the library, not when, obviously, we're not um, concentrated on the, um, on the time, but on the action itself. Number three, change over time. So when you, you want to specify a change. Your English has improved so far. So far, your English has improved has gotten better, for example. Another example. She has changed so much over the years. So when I first met her, she was blonde. Then she became brown, brown hair, so a brunette. She has changed so much over the years. The fourth one is for incomplete actions. For example, have you ever visited Canada? We normally use the um, adverb ever when you want to ask if somebody did something or not have you ever visited Canada what is important here if you visit it or not so you're interested in the action another example he's lost his keys he has lost his keys I can't find them so that means that He's lost his keys sometime in the past. I'm not interested, but I'm interested that he has lost his keys. The last um, uh, way to use it is for accomplishments. For example, Germany has won the World Cup this year. This year means that it's still going on, right? We are in 2017, for example and Germany has won the World Cup this year. It's not true, but we suppose that um, we just pretend that Germany has won the World Cup this year. Or another example, my students have always hated the present perfect simple. I hope after this lesson they don't hate it anymore. My students have always hated the present perfect simple. Well, I thank you very much for watching. This was a very tough lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have, you may uh, share it. If you have any questions or comments, type them under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do. And uh, if you want to type your own example of the present perfect simple, you may do so under this video. Having said that, Thank you very much for watching and I see you next week with a new grammar lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.